Good morning, Art Alchemy. Uh, you're watching this video on my birthday, which is January 10th on Wednesday. Uh, I filmed it before, but because I couldn't help myself, I want to dig in into these goodies. I almost digged in and these goodies that my friend sent me, remember? I didn't know who it was and I posted it and then then I was like, wait a minute. I, I didn't I didn't I didn't put chocolates on my wish list. <laughs> but um but uh yeah I trust me it took a lot for me not to open this thing. I, I so wanted to open it on, on Friday and Saturday. I almost did it on Saturday but I didn't that's why I'm filming the video before Plus, I got everything uh, today, and I, um, except for one thing, which the thing is here. I don't know why Amazon just didn't deliver it. They delivered two things on Friday and Saturday, believe it or not. Um, earlier, they were supposed to be here on Sunday, but they did, and I don't know why they delayed because of my item, which is a gouache that is from Turner. Um, by the way, the gouache on Turner right now, is uh, is um fluctuating between thirty five and thirty six dollars, like thirty five fifty, thirty six, and change. And Amazon is where I got it, the eighteen set. Um, it's the Turner Designers wash, which is what I got. It's an eighteen set. Um, and I got it for thirty nine dollars, so three more three dollars give away more, give or take more expensive. But that's the item that I'm missing. I'm just gonna. You know, when it gets here tomorrow, I'm just going to probably put it on my next video and just show it to you guys. Um, but, um, yeah, so that's why I wanted to film this video because I can't help myself. Plus, I'm like super, super excited. I just finished doing the giveaway. Fambo and Lovely Lovelies. What were the odds, right? One and three. And, yeah, I shook that little thing like ten times before I went live. And I shook it while I was live. And she ended up getting it. Um, so congratulations to you, Fumbo. And um, you actually got the giveaway and you have the other item that we spoke about. But anyway, so that's luck. Yes, that's good luck. You're starting the year on the right foot. And yeah, and it looks like I'm going to do two other um, art exchanges with the other two runner-ups. So anyway, just a... Uh, Side note and uh, extra congratulations to them. And I'm so glad they, they were ready. They were ready when I came live. So anyway, so this is my birthday bash. I went all out, you guys. All out. I just couldn't help myself. But I deserve it, right? I, it's just, I don't know what it was. Amazon just killed it. Like this year before, before, um, before a Christmas, I think it started... A little bit, before, I, I shopped with them before Black Friday. And then only a few things came on Black Friday that I wanted. And then a lot of things, they just knocked it out of the park this year. So before Christmas, after Christmas, and then I was like, oh. A lot of these items, actually, they were for Christmas. But I had to do them for this video, my birthday. Because um, because they didn't come on time. And then, then I got mixed up with my birthday because I was like, well... You know, I'm just gonna, you know, do it for my birthday because now they're they're showing up in January when it's my birthday time. So this this is my friend said me remember the Paul Rubens um, neons that I swatched for you guys. Also the other Paul Rubens that I swatched on Saturday, um, those were also part of this birthday. I just didn't put them on here because, I mean, they don't fit anymore. So that also was actually was supposed to get here January third. And I got it before, like the right at the end, of, right at the edge of the end of December, which which I do believe it was either the thirtieth or the thirty first. I think it was the thirtieth. That's why I swatched them on January first because uh, they were supposed to be a birthday thing, and then then I went up in the rear spell. Anyway, the both of the Peruvians were also part of the, um, which I swatched already. They were part of the birthday giveaways. That one my friend gave me. The other one I bought for, my, for myself. And yeah. So here we're going to start with. Um, so these beautiful. Remember I. Uh, these Escoda brushes. Which by the way. I'm going to make a video on these. I'm just. Today I'm just going to show you what I got for my birthday. 
but um and that's it but um i will mention this these brushes are still on sale through amazon a lot of these quota brushes are still on sale they're really good high-end brushes they are 100 percent synthetic these ones but they are excellent brushes nothing comes close to my Xcoda brushes and i have you'll see when i make the video i have a lot of travel brushes from them like two sets and then other brushes that i acquire through jackson's but this time amazon has been knocking out of the park so i did order it because i wanted this huge one this one by itself is like 25 bucks all on its own it's an 18 inch um ultimo it's called ultimo by this guy david uh, taylor he's the one that created these uh three brushes like um and this one is a number eight uh skoda prado and they're all three of them are round brushes and a number 12 uh skoda uh skoda prado they're made in barcelona handmade they're very similar to the da vinci that they're made in germany but i really like these quarter they're super soft they're you'll see when i do in the video they're really really well made and like i said this one all on its own is like 25 dollars so this this set of three was 41 and it's still on there this is by this guy um david taylor he's from australia and he's watercolorist he's the one that uh made this set see in the Let's see what I'm saying, like Prado synthetic. Well, let me switch it off to you guys because I think on this video I have to make one. So yeah, these are the three that I got, and I wanted to show you because, like I said on my video, nothing come close to my um my Escoras other than uh, I think a good runner up would be for here for the us in the U.S. the um the Princeton Princeton thirstiest and princess select i like this set as well um but i mean escoda are like the best out of the best i'm telling you and i was so glad i early on i acquired quite a large um range of brushes with them because yeah they're ex extremely good so i also got um this uh Keritake sumi ink um, it was six dollars and you'll see why in a minute. Why did I get it? I love to work with Sumi ink a lot of the Boku Undu and the moody colors have Sumi ink in it Hence why they're moody and I like to work with black and watercolor and mix it I'm gonna make a couple of mixes um, in these upcoming weeks um, Mixes with black in it and they'll be my own mixes. So yeah, um, so this one I acquired because you'll see in a minute and it's from Karataki sick it's like very smooth flowing sumi ink with for manga drawing that's the reason that I bought it so I uh, there's a gold one but that gold is expensive also through Amazon so yeah I got this I'm not gonna open it until I'm getting ready to use it because I don't want it to leak you know all over I also acquired this um, this Boku Undu, so uh, I was not satisfied with, you'll see in a minute, with the Kiritaki new metallic set that is only available through Amazon, but this is a Boku Undu. Um, it's also made in Japan. This one, I am going to open it. And this is a metallic set. This is the only one I got because you could get it through um, Amazon. But the, uh, there's two other sets, but they're expensive. They're like $15. And yeah, and I think like 20 And I'm like, okay, I'm going to wait until they go down. Because they're exactly like these ones. But they're, they're one of them is Aurora. And the other one is... Uh, it is... Um, like a... Like a pearl thing. This one is more like a gold. Wow, they really did. But so um, I really like the Boku Undu series, and they're also from Japan. And I found they have an, another big. They came out with another, which is called Sumido, um, like a twenty-four set. Um, shoot, see this? They wrap them so well that I'm like, oh my god. I mean, it is a birthday gift, but good grief. Come on. So I wanted to show you guys because. I saw actually I don't know if you guys know but um, I think her name is uh, she's a really well-known youtuber 
she years ago she actually uh she um swatched these along with the muted mute colors and it seems that not and she was very uh see how they're beautiful um she was very impressed with these and with she bought all three sets of the this one the aurora and the other one so this is the uh let me see if, let me see if it tells me in english these are called the metallic but they're they, they do have a name for it so uh they're all in japanese so i have to here so this is a sumido metallic it just says metallic but yeah so there's three of them so i only got one but i am once the other ones go down i'm gonna get them because they are so beautiful look at that so yeah this is the bokundu i couldn't help myself just to one set of metallics i had to get the other so um i also got this which is um it's a new water uh, it's a new uh palette for watercolor to keep uh so i got it it was only nine dollars you guys and through amazon it's a 24 um let's see oh my god i opened it yesterday so i don't know why it's not coming out so i can show it to you guys but i got it because i want to put my um and obviously if it it cracks if if i don't put it under this type of palette i want to put the um oh that's right the uh also the that was a birthday gift as well oh well the um the gouache that i got from um uh, what is the other eight korean namba jello the other one that i did i show you guys on the first i don't know why i'm, I'm a little bit tired that's probably why i'm forgetting but anyway that's for this gouache it's it's a pretty cool palette um i've seen it a lot um it has a little clear thing it's not big it's not big just look at my hand so it's not it's not too big and it's only nine dollars um so yeah i you'll see this palette when i you know put in my gouache in there my fresh gouache and stuff like that so that's why i got it so it became part of my birthday thing because yeah and and hence fyi there's a lot of wash well, coming coming on so okay we're getting <laughs> we're getting down to the nitty-gritty so i also got this it is a it is a midori dip pen it was $25 through Amazon, so I caught it. It is a design, comfortable writing. So, yeah. So, it's I opened it yesterday because I couldn't help myself. But I wrapped it back for you guys. <laughs> so, yeah, look at that. It, it really is a really... It's, it's smaller than what I thought. But I really like... Look at that. It may have... I'm not an expert in dip pens, but you'll see why in a minute why I had that. Why I ordered that. Uh, and see how small it is? It's pretty small. and But I, I like that nib. It's, um, ooh, it doesn't want to, let me see. It doesn't want to focus. Focus, focus. But anyway. It's really pretty and it says Midori on there, on here. It says Midori, the little... There we go. Did it focus? I don't know why it doesn't want to focus. Anyway. Um, it's really pretty. I really like it. So... And there was another reason why I got it. You'll see why. It's part of my birthday thing, so... I'm gonna put it to the side because I probably am gonna oh, open it. And I'm gonna get to my gifts in here in a minute. So this is the reason that I got the the other metallics because these are ding ding ding. ding. Yep, this is a new set of the Kiritaki 
Gansai Tombi metallic sets. So if you have the three sets from them, so this is only available through Amazon. And guys, I this was fifty dollars. It was expensive. It's a twenty-four set. I couldn't help myself. I even dream. So you, if you have any of the Kiritaki, the little ones, the little sets. So you have this one this one this one no this one this one this one and this one is new this is the new edition so um, if you have any of the little ones and you don't want to spend more money hopefully they'll make these available on as a separate but as of right now i think they was available here in the u.s since november I saw it in early December and I was like, I want that. This was going to be my original Christmas and then I ended up buying the other one because I love metallic so. Because, um, and look you guys, it has a swatch card. Unlike the, the other ones, it actually has a swatch card. So, the it, see how new it is? It doesn't have any like the other ones, but it does have a swatch card. Look at that. It really does so I'm really happy about this set and I'll be swatching it later in the week for my get ready my Kiritaki showdown all three of my sets so yeah and it explains in English a lot of things here look at that how you could use it how pretty so that's why it was wrapped like that because I unwrapped it yesterday I wanted to see it so yeah it gives you a lot of information so see but it is uh it is costly at the moment but i wanted it so um it's cheaper the guacai we're gonna get to this one in a minute but i wanna wrap um, well you know what let's do this so i also got this magello yep another one magello white class mission white class um design it's not mission gold it's magello white class designer gosh they are hybrid watercolors as well and i'm gonna do a comparison on the video after i swatch this but i have to wait because they it, this one doesn't come with a white or a black um so i I was smart instead of ordering just a big ass tubes of black and white which were like thirty dollars thirty three dollars um, and I was like no I'm not gonna do that so I actually order a set of six um, different type of grays so as you know grays have white in them so I'm just gonna make it a, instead of being a thirty thirty four set it's gonna be a 39 set because instead of me mixing i'm just gonna use those grays and mix them whenever i want you'll see because i'll do it on the channel but look how big it is and i you guys it was on sale for 65 dollars oh my god it's like i couldn't see every time i was i actually had gone in there to buy the midori and then i ended up buying this so yesterday I got a bunch of things. That's why I'm making this video so early because I want to dig into my things. I'm like, you see? Oh my God, it really does feel like Christmas and my birthday. <laughs> I'm kind of, I used to get mad because my birthday was close to Christmas. Now I'm not mad anymore because all these beautiful sales. So, ooh, look at that. Magello does not. So under the lid is this. All oh, the explanation. I have seen this by experience of watercolors and the difference between this one and the current set the titanium um if the titanium is too expensive for you guys get this on amazon it's 65 dollars it's like 71 with tax but it's well worth it but you have to get the black and the white if you want them or you could get them through ebay they're not accessible as easily like i these were the only ones i found on amazon um, to mix them, but they're basically watercolors, but you want to hybrid watercolors, but if you want to make them opaque That's why you need to get the black or the white and they're huge 100 millimeter tubes Like I said, I didn't want to get that and it explains to you on here how 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 do you 
do it these are not like fast like they're a lot they're designer they're a lot less that's why they made the titanium the the other ones that i swatch that i love the titanium class because those are life fast these are not but they hey they are good watercolors and you could play around and not worry you know i mean they're good brand as well and i love look at this look at the, oh my god i love magello the way they do colors look at that oh my god so beautiful so beautiful and then imagine i have six different types that they're, they're going to be coming so these are not going to swatch until probably around february when i get the when i get the the six tubes like this they're all 15 millimeter by the way as well so these are 34 for 65 dollars can't beat that also hey fyi now that i'm talking to Mag about magello the 24 set of pure pigment magello gold um, these are watercolors. They're also on sale. They're $62 right now on Amazon as of this morning So you might want to check into those they give you their 50 millimeter tubes pure pigment Which means they're just made of one pigment and then they give you a small seven two small seven millimeter tubes of white and um, Black as well. I almost bought that one But I was like no because I wanted to buy this to do a comparison with the titanium uh the titanium class the one that i have and other than the life fastness because these were less life fast these were made for actually um um like you know designers basically the that scan their stuff but hey i wanted to see what the difference is so they they still came well packed and the other one that i mean i love the new titanium because they're life fast titanium uh titanium gold i mean to, yeah titanium gold but damn like they, they did cost me normally like 120 plus i mean i only pay out of my pocket like 100 but 110 because but yeah these were 65 so yeah I, watch out for the video next month when i get the other tubes and i'll mix them on camera so yeah these are pretty nice i'm really glad i got them and they're a lot they came a lot bigger than my other i think the same size as my other well i'm gonna keep this here my other wash it but yeah so and then i'll have the turner the turner i will swatch pretty soon for you guys so all right so i'm almost done i promise so now we're gonna get to the good stuff so um this came in the mail today that's why i'm doing this video so um these are my nips i guess i should have opened the other one first but i'm gonna open this one they wrapped this so well this came from i got it from endless endless pens in tampa florida thank you to that youtuber they bought they bought these nips from them because i did i tell you guys do your research always do your research because it will save you a lot of money so a lot of people this is nibs these are nibs that are for a very expensive um, Japanese dip pen and I, I looked and looked everywhere everywhere and I finally on here thanks to that nice youtuber that she posted um, an informational video where she got her stuff and she only got one I got two for the price of what you would pay in the St. Louis our store for one um, yeah I I actually I actually um, paid for two nips but oh my god they gave me this big box and I'm struggling because I'm on camera <laughs> okay I think I'm gonna have to pause you guys I hopefully not but uh let's see no i don't let me just i mean it is an actual gift right yeah there we go they did it so nicely with this really nice washi tape i mean clear tape so pretty i don't know why they gave me this big box it's actually less than it is here this is st louis by the way they wrapped that for me so this is gonna be coming up 
But for now, let me get on frame. Oh, finally. So, this is what I was waiting for. I'm so excited. Thank you for that YouTuber. Oh, Ooh, look at that. They <laughs> I didn't expect all of this, but okay. Ooh. I guess it is my birthday, huh? So. Ooh. Okay. So, after all of this, I was wondering why they gave me a big ass box. Um, I don't, I didn't need all that confetti, all that little, whatever there was. So, da, 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 da. this is the reason. Look at that. Can you read what it is? Cat Kimori Nips. See? Cat Kimori, in case. So, this Nips, they're really popular. They're, they're drawing Nips. And when I saw them in early December, I'm like, I have to have them for my birthday. And I couldn't decide. But these nibs are at St. Louis. St. Louis, where I got this art store. They are, these nibs are $50 each. Thanks to this wonderful YouTuber that I found. That's why I said, always do your research. She got them. She got them in September at Endless Pants, and I'll, I'll I'll give you the guys the link for that and you know for it so because it does save you a lot of money. And I subscribe myself immediately to get ten percent off. They were thirty three dollars each minus ten percent. They gave them to me. Well, they sold them to me for twenty nine dollars and fifty cents each. So. I pay only around eight dollars more what you would normally pay in St. Louis art store for one and I got two so and I was wondering cause if I was like okay are they and they're so nice I was like hey like when are you I bought it I bought it like before the first and they didn't ship it until the second last week and I finally got them today through the post office so see look at that it is brass this is the brass look at that nib this is for a dip pen you guys it's heavy Ooh, lord so yeah coming up that's why i bought the midori so i want to see if one of these fit in there i know i already know they fit in the takishawa remember that the one that i showed you for christmas that's why i order it because they will fit for these and because the the dip they own they sell you the nibs by themselves and then you have to buy their dip pen their dip pen um but st louis our store does tell you on there on the website that you don't that they this could be fitted universally with the takishawa the ones that i show you for the on the christmas on the last christmas um item so i decided just to get the nibs and just uh, get the Takeshawa. I'm gonna get a better Takeshawa from Jet Pants, but I also want to try one of them out for so the majority. So, because I could, um, I could easily take this out. See, and hopefully, you see that it has a little prongs. Hopefully, they'll fit. If it doesn't fit on this one, it will fit on the Takeshawa, and then I will probably have to get another Takeshawa. Cause they fit on the E and M pens, which are twenty five dollars, but I don't want to wait. So this is the other one. This is the um, this is the other one was brass. This is a like a silver thing. Uh, it's called something else. It's called okay. So this is the brass. Oh, stainless. This is the brass. This is the stainless steel. So this one's the stainless steel. This one weighs a lot less. This one's actually lighter. Wonder if that's actually. Wow, the, the brass weights a lot, you guys. This one does not. I'm surprised. So let me see if it'll fit. Oh, I think it might. I'm not sure. It might. I don't want to scratch it or anything. Ooh, it might not. I think it does not. Oh, 
when I lift it on my trolley thing. Yeah, I don't think it fits. I mean, it does. <sighs> yeah, it. No, it doesn't, because I think it's supposed to fit here. But it kind of does, you guys. Yeah, I guess it kind of does. So I could use it like that. Okay. But yeah, I'll see how it fits in the Takishawa, but I do like it with the Midori. But I'm going to get another Takishawa, which is like $6 something, $7. This one I wanted to get the Midori because I wanted A, I wanted to see if it fit. So it did fit because it doesn't move. See how it doesn't move? And um, Z versus this is the, is, the, ooh, is the Midori nib. So I could have got an EMM, but I wanted to get the Midori because I don't know. I feel I I like this hexagonal thing. So yeah, I think yay me. It does fit. Ooh. It's a little bit of a tight fit, but it it does fit. Okay. So ooh, kudos for me. And the difference between this and this, and you'll see I'll make a video for these when I finally because I'm going to get all my dip pens out. All of them. And, um, and, uh, and show you guys and see how these work. So I'm really excited about these. These were the, the creme of the creme, you know. But that's what I say. Always do your research. That's why I always give you guys, um, see how this only fits on one side. The other one is full circle. That's why sometimes the other ones, they're really cheap. Uh, this one fits on the side of the like prong and not in the inside. The other one actually fits in. But yeah. Yeah. Okay. Go Midori. I don't have to dig up another. I mean, unless I want to. But I am going to get another Takeshawa because I like the color. It's like the color of my... Thing, but yeah i want to see now i want to try this one because i really like the the little dip yeah so midori paper i got the midori pen i don't know i was really attracted to that so now the last item so this one came from the st louis art supply store and yeah so i got one of those and uh let's see here so they wrapped my stuff because I told them that uh, it's my birthday and they were like, oh yeah, they always wrap your stuff, but they, they went a little bit extra with this because, uh, you know, my birthday. I wanted, and plus I wanted to show you guys how, you know, special. And I think after, after I get my two things, I might get a few things here and there, not related to my birthday in February, but I think I'm going to cool it down a little bit because I mean I bought a lot of things thank god for, for um so it's not in egg cartridges they just they put them in there so you guys can see so I'm gonna show you what I got first off I got this uh Again, I'm really uh, attracted to gold lately, ever since like before Christmas, and I really am loving the gold, so I, I thought I'd give it a try. This is a Karitaki um, gold paste, so it's much more, a lot of, uh, some people use it, and I could actually use it in dip pens, and I could actually use it in watercolors, and you could, if you put a little bit hint of like Sumi ink. That's why, that's one of the reasons I got it. It makes this effect. So yeah, I wanted to try. I didn't think, I mean, $12. I didn't think it was this small. I thought it would be a little bit bigger. But it's 13 grams, 30 grams. I mean, 30 grams. So it's a little bit smaller than what I expected. But hey, big things come in small packages, right? And then I got, this one was on sale. I got this um, Bombay Red. India ink so I wanted to get the one yeah red so I you know 
It wasn't so. I think it was supposed to have been ruby red. But this is this red. Okay. But I got that. It was like four dollars or something. Mm, so I could try it out in my gift pen. And this is the other reason that I got this. Look at that. Look at that. You know what this is? It is a watercolor. Yes, it is. So I wanted. I am actually gonna get three more of these. They all the St. Louis Art Supply Store also sells the um the like a uh, a holder of four that you could hold. I saw this on from a like a random YouTuber, and I was like, oh my god! I actually wanted to get. A different color but they were more expensive so this is a watercolor is from block x x they are not from the u.s they're from belgium i believe so i got the color blue because with the sale from st louis it was 15 dollars and plus i was attracted to this color look at that almost like a midnight blue and yeah, I, I guess, and this, believe it or not, I didn't know until it was on the way. It's ceramic. Yeah, it's ceramic. A water, a gigantic watercolor inside a ceramic sold to, yeah, it, with all the sales, it was like $15. But I wanted the manganese violet, but like I said, it was like 20 bucks even after the sale. So this one was... 15 and then so i'm only gonna i do want to get a small collection of these like throughout the years so i think um i'm gonna buy the little block i'm not gonna open this until i get at least the other three i'm only gonna get a set of four and then after that i'll just because i mean this is gonna take a long time and they are ceramic so i want to buy right now is it's sold it's it's uh already sold out the it's a wooden box like that like a, not a wooden box but a wooden tray that you would lay these and you could only put four in them from st louis art supply so yeah i'm gonna get more of these but for now i thought i'd let you guys know look at that huh how unique is that i didn't even know this was ceramic i thought it was plastic until because i was like why are they so expensive I mean, yeah, they're gigantic. And then I read, oh my God, these are ceramic. You know the, just so you know, the Kuretake, um, back in the day, before we were all Paul de Born, they used to sell them. The trays were not plastic. They were actually ceramic. I know it because somebody who is has a YouTube channel, I think she's from Australia and she gets secondhand stuff because she likes it and old stuff and she actually got a kiritake set she's watching old kiritake set and all the old paint was inside of ceramic little ceramic palettes so similar to this one but this is a modern so this will be blue so watch hopefully you know before spring is over i'll get the the other three plus the wooden so i could swatch on what the wooden thing because yeah i definitely want to be careful with this and I'm gonna I'm gonna put it away in a very special place